Hey, what's up with you guys? This is Erfan here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can sign up with uh, TradingView, how you can use it, the indicators, how we can analyze the market, most importantly, and all the tools that TradingView has. So I'm gonna start from a scratch, guys. I'm gonna show you how we can sign up with it and how you can, uh, you know, kind of sort out all these settings inside TradingView when you create an account, how we can have a watch list, the tools, all that stuff. So it's super easy, guys. The first thing you need to do is just go to the tradingview.com. And then if you already have an account, you just need to sign in using this icon here. Otherwise, you just uh, click get it started. So when you click get it started, guys, it's going to uh, take you to a page that has all different versions of TradingView. So this is a page that is going to take you to after you click get it started. And then as you can see, they have three different versions, Pro, Pro Plus and Premium. So guys, I highly recommend you to go with like one of them, because if you want to, you know, try with basic version, you can definitely do it for free. But there's going to be so many ads uh, in, the, in the middle of the chart. So when you're analyzing the market, if you're doing like whatever you're doing, there's going to be so many ads that interrupt you. So even if you go for the pro version for only $14.95 a month, it's absolutely enough especially in the beginning because i personally like go for pro i'm not doing anything crazy with that i'm just analyzing the market i don't even use five indicators at the same time but you can do that you can have two chart uh in one window 20 server side alerts at free which is the most important one volume profile indicators and all this good stuff that you can use using the pro version and the good thing about these versions is that you can also compare them right here when you scroll down and you can try them for 30 days for free which is absolutely cool i tried them guys i tried the free version i tried the pro version and i stick to pro version because there's so many ads that literally like disturb me when i'm analyzing the market so when you choose your plan let's say that you want to go for the pro version and then it's taking you to the sign up page so it's very very simple guys you can either sign up with your uh so here you can either sign in with either your google account or facebook account or your email or even if you don't have an account you just simply click sign up brings you here you choose either one of them i go for email you put in your email address your password and then you check this one boom you create your account and then it takes you to uh the payment page if you're you know already choosing a pro version and then after that it brings you to this page right here so this is what it looks like guys but it's not gonna look like this with like you know green and black candles this is the theme that i personally applied and i want to show you how it is uh, works exactly so i know it might be a little bit confusing when you first look at trading view but guys i can guarantee you that everything is super simple and you don't even have to yeah like use every single setting that trading view has the only thing that you really need to care about is the watch list on the right side don't even care about these elements here because i personally don't use them it's just like news and news feed all this kind of stuff so the only thing that i personally care about is the watch list it's the first thing that i really care about alerts here that i show you how it uh, works exactly and this left side here and only some of the tools so guys when you like you know open your charts it's not going to look like this and you can literally change whatever you want so you literally right click on the screen and then you see that you have so many things right here so you can go to settings and then uh, you have uh, the symbol option here that you can change the color of the body of the candles to green and red if you want to there are so many colors here it really depends on you that what color uh, matches like your style and the borders green black this is what i preferred and the weak so everything looks like this right now so if i change something here as you can see my red candles my bearish candles turned orange but if i turn it back to black it's going to look like this which is super super interesting i don't deal with these ones because i don't really use them i can go to a status line uh, again i don't change anything here because everything looks good to me but if you want to do any of this stuff just feel free to check them out and see what works the best for you but you don't really have to do that so appearance is all about the background of the chart so for example the background right now is solid so if i change it to like you know any color as you can see it literally changes to any color that i want but i don't like that so i'll keep it in white because it doesn't distract me some people put it in black with uh green and white candles but i don't like that personally so and the next thing is vertical uh, grid lines. So vertical grid lines, guys, I've never worked with them, to be honest, because uh, like, you know, I simplify everything on my charts. 
I don't want to have any distraction. I don't want to like have so many things that distract me from the main part, which is market analysis and price action. So, but if you want to check in, as I said, it's super, super uh, simple and everything is on default. So the only thing you need to care about is the uh, like color of the candles, the background and any indicator that you want to use. So in trading, you have buy and sell buttons that you can, you know, uh, enable or disable. We have the positions here and the events here. So it's nothing, uh, it's not a big deal here, but this is what I use personally. So this is for the settings tab, guys. Let's get into uh, the time frame that you can see here. So if you don't have any of this stuff, you just simply click this one. Oh, as you can see, the hours just pop up. And if you want to add something, you just simply go to this section. And then let's say that you want to add like seven minutes. And then you come here, you, you uh, change it to seven minutes, and then you add it. So as you can see, seven minutes is going to be added right here. So if I don't, if you don't want it, just click this and then you go back to five minutes or 15 minutes or whatever you want. So this is a really cool one uh, that I personally really like. And if you want to quickly switch your time frames, you just uh, simply use your keyboard. Let's say I want to go to five months and I press this. As you can see, it goes to five months and I reset my charts and this is how it looks like. So if I want to go to like five minutes, I just simply press five and it automatically goes to five minutes that's really quick guys because i i'm a scalper so i analyze the market based on five minute and 15 minute time frame and uh like i just quickly change it like that five minutes now 15 minutes if i want to change it it's super super quick so let me just get into uh the watch list part because it's very very interesting and it's very very important as well guys so i only trade forex but if i want to trade other stuff as well i just simply go to this part the symbol search and i can add them here but you can have multiple watch lists if you want so i'm using the pro version if you're using the free version you're not going to have access to all this stuff here because uh there's some restrictions and also you get so many ads which i don't really like to so you go to watch list and then here you can create a new list uh and i created a one for a crypto list stocks to watch and the main watch list which is my forex pairs and i only watch a few of them to be honest i only uh trade like these like four to five first pairs and then after that uh, i'm just have them here so i don't have to manually search them every single time so if i go to crypto list these are the crypto lists that I have. These are the pairs, uh, stocks to watch. These are the stocks that I'm watching. And the main watch list, as I said, is the Forex. And if I go to EURUSD, as you can see, everything changes to EURUSD. If I go to GBPUSD, this is GBPUSD, GBPJPY, and then I can change the time frame right here, which is very, very easy, guys. And if you want to add something or, uh, or remove something, you can literally do it from here. So if I want to add, let's say, Aussie New Zealand, I just you know, type Aussie New Zealand, and then as you can see, Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar comes. And these are the brokers that are like, you know, that Aussie New Zealand is on. So I'm using FXCM and Oanda, but the first option is literally the best one. And then you close it, and then you see that Aussie New Zealand should be somewhere around here if I'm not wrong. So let me see, Aussie New Zealand. Oh yeah, you click this one. As you can see, it actually, came all the way down here and then if you you can drag and drop it wherever you want that's a really cool thing about trading view that you can organize the pairs so you know what exactly you need to watch so as in new zealand is here if i want to bring it down i can bring it down here if i want to remove it i just simply remove it from here so i'm going to remove uh, remove uh this one here and this one here as well because i don't use them let's say that i want to have gold above that's 100 i can literally have it here and i can have all everything organized so that's a very cool cool thing about watch this guys i highly recommend you to organize everything and life will become easier for you guys simply so and the most important part and the most exciting part for me is this part right here guys this is one of the best things that i personally use a lot and i only use a few of them so first of all guys i don't really use uh like uh you know so many indicators at the same time anymore because it's just confusing to me but if you want to have if you want to identify your trend lines if you want to you know connect lines together you want to identify the lines everybody has different strategy my strategy might be totally different than yours but you can use this tool right here so if you click this arrow here 
uh, you'll be able to see the trend line here, the arrow here, ray, and so many other things. I'm personally using the first two. Uh, the first one is the trend line, so it's that you can use it from here and drag it all the way to here. So as you can see, this is my trend line. And then I can have my touch points using the brush. This is what I play with a lot uh, to kind of know that I'm doing the right thing. You can have, it's just a regular brush, guys. And then you can delete it. So let's see that you have one touch point here, you have one touch point here, and then you are just analyzing the market. You're using the arrow, and then you can identify that, okay, the market is probably going here, and then after that, it's going to bounce, something like that. You know, if you want to analyze the market, you kind of play around with it. This is a really cool tool, and it's very, uh, you know, it's, it's very fun to play with. This is what I basically say. So I can delete everything here again, you can do the same thing with whatever you pair you want and the good thing is that it gets saved so after you do anything with uh like whatever pair that you want it gets saved so you just click this one here this cloud here and then it saves your changes so my trend line let's say from here to here and then i have my trend line from here to here let's say two trend lines and i have my touch points here and then i decide to save this I just go here and then uh, I'm on GBPJPY right now and then I switch my uh, pair to like gold let's say and then I go back to GBPJPY you see that they're still here even if I close everything if I shut down my computer get back to my account everything is gonna stay the same and that's a really cool thing about trading view i used to you know analyze the market and take my trades on mt4 only and it was a disaster guys because i couldn't properly see the candles and it was really hard to analyze it using like you know the tools that mt4 has but if you're using this one it's so much easier for you and the second option is the fibonacci retracement so i don't use any of this stuff here if you have a strategy that uses any of them that's good but the only thing that i use sometimes is fibonacci level here let's say that i want to analyze the market using the fibonacci level i started from where the price started shooting up which is here all the way to where it ends and by the way this is the custom setting like it's not default if you're using fibonacci it might not look like that this is what i personally changed like i changed the levels and the color of each level so i know that my golden zone which is between 50 percent to 60 percent is going to be right here so and then i use the rectangle to kind of identify my zone and then i'm ready to uh, I'm ready to wait for the price of the market to reach this level and if it's a really good position Towards the trend of the market then I take my position. So let's say Right now even if you zoom out guys, you can literally see that the trend of the market is towards upside It's super easy to identify that uh, you can literally do it with naked eyes You don't necessarily have to draw a trend line But if you want to do it, you just literally do it like this and you know that the trend of the market is towards upside and you know that you have a few touch points here the trend is upside and then you have a break of a structure towards upside right here see from here to here it broke a structure towards upside broke this one broke this one and broke this one so you know that the trend is uptrend and then if you want to use your fibonacci level and if you don't know how to use fibonacci i highly recommend you to actually search it on youtube videos there's so many youtube videos that teaches you how to use fibonacci but uh basically if i want to have a like quick touch on it you need to identify the trend first and then you need to use your fibonacci from where the move started until where it ends so in this case the trend is towards upside where did it start where did the big move start from here this candle here so i just literally zoom in and then i started from here and then i drag it all the way to where it ended how do we know where it ended so when the correction starts happening this is exactly where it ends where is this one right here so it's not going up where's the golden zone right here this is when it uh, this is where we need to actually care the most about so and this is what i usually do i just analyze the market and say okay well, when the price comes here and if it doesn't break below this zone it means that my zone is still valid and the only thing i need to do is just wait for the price to reach this level and if it uh, gives me a good confirmation to buy the market then i do that i also show you a pdf file that uh actually 
talks about the basic principles of candlestick patterns, uh, how they, uh, what they look like, if they look like, like this, what do you do, all this kind of stuff. It's gonna be really, really helpful for you guys if you're a beginner, and I'm gonna go for it like in a second. So this is a PDF file, so I'm not gonna start from now, but this is what I do. And then the next thing is my favorite part, this is the horizontal ray. So guys, this is one of the most important thing, one of the most fundamental thing for me when it comes to trading and especially scalping because I use this tool or I can use the horizontal line like this to have my alarm set up. So what does it mean? So let's say that I have this line here. This is my horizontal rate if I'm not trying. Yeah, horizontal rate or horizontal line, doesn't matter. And I want to get noticed. I want to get notified when the price reached this level. And I want to be prepared to buy or sell a market. So let's say that the price is right here currently. And I want to get notified when it reaches this level. Because this is the zone that I care about. This is my golden zone. And I want to know what happens when the price reaches this level. It's super simple, guys. You just use one of these levels here, since you are using the pro version, and you just bring it down where, wherever you want. And once it's done, you just need to click on it. And then there's going to be this alert uh, icon here. That if you click on it, you can set up an alert. That's really cool, guys. And I would say this is probably the only reason I'm using uh, TradingView, and also it's very, very uh, like beautifully designed to analyze the market, and it's really enjoyable. And you just you know need to kind of uh, mention how you want to get notified, notify on app or show pop up or send email. And I usually. Uh, go for the first one because the notification just pops up on my phone and I know okay so the price is there let's get back to the charts let's see uh, what is like going on exactly if I need to take a buy position or just need to leave it because it broke below the zone or whatever happened after that so and then I could cl click create and you see that there's gonna be this sign this icon like the alert icon is gonna pop up underneath this line so if even if i zoom in you'll see that it's gonna stay with it so whenever the price tap into this level by the time it touch this line i'm going to get notified using my phone or i'm gonna like you know receive an email that hey the price is there this is a very cool one and then if i want to delete it I can use other things as well. I can use a trend line to do the same thing. So let's say that I'm having my trend line from here to here, and then I'm click on, uh, I click on it, and then my alert is going to be here, create. So as you can see, the sign is going to pop up right here. That's very cool, guys. So now the price needs to reach this line, and then I get notified. So I'm going to delete this one as well, guys. Uh, these are the tools that I'm using, uh, the trend line, the arrow, the rave, whatever that you're more com more comfortable with and you have this strategy on. Fibonacci retracement, the brush, which is my favorite one, uh, and you can draw whatever I want on it. And the rectangle, I identify my zones with it. So as you can see, all these yellow zones are uh, like have been done by this rectangle here and you can change the color if you want to you can literally go to this section you change the color I I go for a yellow because it kind of matches my candlesticks and uh, I go for the text sometimes if you want to have a text if you want to use any of these icons then just go for it so the next thing that I want to show you guys before I get into the patterns before I get into like the basic fundamentals of Forex the candlestick patterns like each uh, kind of what each, what each candle does I want to show you about I want to show you this this one right here so the long position and short position so this is what I personally do so let's say that I'm trading during New York session and I'm actually seeing a really good setup on five minute time frame so I'm going to switch my time frame to five minute time frame I'm going to delete this and let's say that I want to take a trade um, let's say I don't know from here all the way to here so let's say that I know that I'm going to, it's just an example guys, I'm not saying that, you know, that's a really good thing to buy here and sell here because I didn't analyze the market and I don't think that it's even a good spot to buy, but it's just an example. Now let's say that I want to buy the market here, put my stop loss here, 
and my TP here, but I'm not sure about the exact risk to reward ratio that I have. So in this case, I just use the long position because I'm going to take a buy position here and I put it, for example, let's say right here. So this is going to be my entry, my entry point. This line is going to be my entry point and this uh, red thing this red line is going to my stop loss and my TP could be wherever I want so let's say that I want to get out of the market exactly at this resistance level and I can literally see my risk to reward ratio which is over one and it's absolutely fine so my strategy is taking a trade one to one so the minimum risk to reward ratio should be one to one in my opinion because if it's less than that it means that your risk management is completely out so at minimum one to one and if you want to go for higher you can literally go for higher so now i know that if i want to enter a position okay if i want to enter a position right here and put my stop loss below the previous candle and my tp is here my risk to reward ratio is going to be 2.14 so it means that if i risk 100 dollars right here i'm going to earn $200 because I'm going to earn double that money. It's super, super simple. So that's the risk reward ratio, which I show with RR. Uh, let me just put it right here risk reward ratio. And if the risk reward ratio, what is that? It wasn't supposed to be like that. Okay. So risk to reward. And then let's say that my risk is one, my reward is three. So if you see such a thing, you know that you're risking 1% to earn 3%. Okay, it's an example. You're risking $100 or whatever, $200 to make $600. Very, very basic, guys. Or you're basically risking $100 to earn $300. That's how it works. And it's very, very important to have such a thing, guys, because uh, as I said, minimum one to one and then you're good to go. So my strategy is based on supply and demand zones. But in this video, I just want to talk about support and resistance levels and why we have support and resistance level uh, in those areas and what happens when you have them, guys. That's that's the thing. A lot of retail traders or a lot of beginners don't really understand the concept of support and resistance levels that why they get created and it's very very important because if you want to know how banks and institutions really trade and you want to uh, trade according to them you really need to know these basics so i can also change the size of the sticks if you want to to have a bigger one that's the risk reward ratio one to three and these are the examples so and vice versa if i want to take a sell trade let's say that i want to take a sell trade from here Let's say I want to take a sell trade from here. Instead of going to long position, I go to short position. I want to see what my risk to reward ratio is. So I put my entry here. Let's say I want to enter the market here. I put my stop loss above the previous candle or wherever I want. It doesn't matter. It depends on your strategy, where you want to put them. And then your TP, like you know, wherever it is. So in this case, look at this, guys. My risk reward ratio is 0.83 which is really bad. It's less than one, guys. So it means that for risking $200, I'm probably making $100 something. Maybe I'm making $120, but I'm risking $200. So it means that my risk to reward ratio is completely out. But if I wanna balance out my risk with my, re uh, my uh, reward, I need to bring it down. And this is one to one. Now my risk to reward ratio is one. So I'm risking $200. I'm making $200 here. I'm risking $200. Now I'm making $200 here. If I want to extend it all the way down here, that there is a strategy for that, that how you can do it. And uh, how do you, how you know that is coming down further it's a completely different strategy but in this video i just want to uh, talk about the basic stuff what risk reward ratio is the basic principles of forex the candlestick patterns all this good stuff so that's it's very very important guys i highly recommend you to practice uh using this tool if you want to enter a trade whatever strategy that you have 
it's very important to practice and backtest it to make sure that it's working properly uh, based on your risk to reward. It's all about this, guys. Risk management, you're gonna stay in the game forever. But if you don't have a good risk management, you're gonna blow your account in two days and then you give up on trading Forex and you say, oh, it's a scam, but it's not actually. It's all about that. So, and yeah, that's about it. Uh, I think I actually touched on the most important parts, but I wanna show you how the candlestick works. And I wanna show you some examples and how I use support and resistance levels, how we can do the same thing, and uh, what liquidity is, and how retail traders get a stopped out all the time. Okay, guys, uh, learning candlestick patterns uh, is super, super simple, but at the same time, you need to practice. So in this section, I'm going to show you the patterns of every candlestick and also support and resistance levels. So let's start with this article that I found uh, that has a really good explanation about candlestick patterns, how many types we have, how we use them, but I'm not going to uh, go through every single page because you don't really have to do that. You just need to like, you know, go over some uh, basic principles, learn some strategies if you have one or if you are actually using someone else's, then you can literally use these strategies. So I'm going to start with the base, the most basic one. So we have two types of candles, as you can see. There's only a bullish candle and bearish candle here. Some people use different colors, but you know, the main ones are the green and red candle. The main difference between these two is that for the green candle, which is a bullish candle, the open price starts with uh, starts from the bottom of this. So in this case, it starts from here. So if I want to use my brush, this starts open is here, close is going to be here. But for red candle, for a bearish candle, starts from here and op uh, closes here. So open here, close here. Green candle, open here, close here. So as you can see right here, open, close, open, close. But this like the rest of the things are exactly the same so we have the shadow and this one is lower shadow and it is the lowest part here and we have upper shadow with the highest part here but i'm going to show you how they close and how they how they open and how they close up so let's say that i'm going to show you about this one here so you know that the price opens here and close here but this is a really like you know a strong bullish candle and it means that the buyers are stronger than sellers but in this case like in this case let's say that you have let me just do a replay for you oh, by the way you can use this tool uh, the replay button here to go like you know how far back you want this is very cool especially when you want to back this i forgot to actually show you so th this is a replay you just click this one and then you go how far that you want let's say i want to go all the way to here i click press and i just move forward like this and it can literally back this the market which is very very interesting guys and if you click play it just goes way faster like that until it comes to the current plot the price and then it just immediately stops so as you can see it starts from probably it starts right here and then it just closes it because this is the current price and it's exactly at 625 new york uh new york time so i just wanted to show you this example i'm going to do a replay all the way to here and as you know this is the bearish candle so where does it start guys where does it open it opens here and it close here but before it close right here, it opens here first, tries to go up and close here. This is, this is what it was supposed to close at. But since the sellers are stronger, they push the price towards downside. And that's why it created this shadow here and it caused the price to close here. So let me show you one more time. And I'm going to show you with this uh, arrow here. The price opens here, it closes here. But before it closes here, it goes all the way up, all the way to here. It was supposed to close here, but since the sellers are stronger, the shadows created. It got created because the sellers are stronger and they're pushing the price towards downside. And that's why it closed here, came all the way up, came down, and closed here. Another example. Let me show you. Uh, this one this is a doji candle that we are going to get into doji candle means indecisive candle so it doesn't know where it wants to go but and usually when you see this candle uh the trend wants to change so 
if you're seeing a green doji candle it means that it's going towards upside most of the times but it's not only it's not the only reason you need to pay attention to i'm just saying that so for this doji candle here when it opens here it closes here right opens here closes here but like there's so many things happens before it closes here it opens here comes all the way down and supposed to close here but it didn't happen because the buyers pushed the price towards upside they created this gap they created this uh shadow here and then after that it went all the way up supposed to close here didn't happen again because the sellers pushed the price towards downside and then it finally closed here that's why it's indecisive because the amount of pressure that buyers and sellers like you know uh applied to this candle here is equal and the price closed in the middle of this shadow here that's why it's indecisive so it's very very important to pay attention to this stuff guys and another example that i want to show you is this one here full green candle no shadow buyers are super strong the price literally opens here and it closes here that's it when it opens here it goes all the way up very strong they push the price super fast and it closes here so you can literally under understand the power of each candle by just looking at the weeks they uh, looking at the shadows and where they close where they open all this kind of stuff so uh another one another doji candle which is a bearish candle it, it exactly happened beside that so instead of opening here it actually opened right here on top closes here it opens here try to come down the buyers push the price towards upside and then it goes all the way uh, to here the sellers push the price and then it closes here so this is another doji one uh that uh, happened right here but as i said there are so many other factors that you need to uh, take into consideration before making a decision to jump into the trade or not so this is exactly what i want to talk about support and resistance levels or uh, supply and demand zones so this is the first thing that you need to really learn guys it's very very important the second one is the hammer candlestick pattern so this is exactly what i showed you guys uh, the hammer candlestick patterns means that the buyers are stronger in the market and that's why they can push the price towards upside so if i want to show you an example for hammer candlestick patterns you can literally you know find tons of them let me go to so yeah there's one here there's one right here can you see this candle right here i'm gonna do a replay all the way to this one look at this candle guys this is a hammer candlestick pattern but in this case there's no week on top so it's this week here and everything is closed above that if i go to gold i can literally show you yeah this is exactly what happened so let me just delete everything here this one right here this is a hammer one there is one right here that i can show you this one kind of is hammer but it's indecisive let me let me show you this one this one right here can you see that guys the price opens here it closes here but it before it closes here it opens here tries to close here the buyers push the price towards upside and made the candle close at the top so that's uh, what i'm what i'm saying guys so it means that whenever you see this candle guys there is a high chance there's a high chance there's a really good chance that uh, the price wants to go towards upside and if you see the opposite of this candle uh, which is the bearish one or even this one but like you know towards upside so instead of being like this no this is not a good one so let me just try it like this hopefully it works yeah instead of like this it'll be like this then you need to pay uh, close attention to the formation of the candle and the patterns at the specific areas i'm actually emphasizing on that guys don't never ever trade a tr uh, take a trade based on only one candlestick pattern never do that there are so many other things but it's just a more confirmation for your trade after you analyze the market based on your strategy they just give you a better confirmation so this is what hammer candlestick pattern is as you can see there's an example here that when it uh, comes uh down all the way to here it tries to go up see 
just because the buyers try to push the price towards upside. So we have this one uh, piercing pattern, candlestick pattern. I don't really pay attention to that, and I don't want you to confuse. I don't want you to get confused. But for this one, because it doesn't really make sense in forex, bullish engulfing candlestick pattern is very very important, guys, and especially you know when you're trading and you want to have a better confirmation like you know for the trend of the market this is what you really need to pay attention to so and i want to show you a very good example about the bullish engulfing candle because there are so many of them and it's literally happening all the time so do you remember the hammer candlestick pattern guys as i said this is exactly the opposite so now the sellers are stronger in the market and they're trying to push the price towards downside and that's why it opened here went all the way up was supposed to close here but boom pushed here so the next candle after that is a big bearish candle and the price just dropped significantly all the way to this level here okay so here's an example for bullish engulfing candle look at this guys the price was just dropping and then it broke this support level here so we have a support level here that this price literally broke it and it came down and here at the bottom we have a bullish engulfing candle which is from here to here look at this so it means now the buyers are getting stronger again a good momentum now is a very good momentum to take a buy position if you're planning to do that so again let's say that you analyze the market you know that we have a break of a structure here you know that the market is consolidating see so the trend is not really clear you don't know either it's going up or down because it's going both ways and you have uh, a support level right here i'm using my horizontal line this is my uh, this is better actually i'll go for horizontal ray this is my support level this is another support level that i've talked about later because these are the lowest points the lowest points are our support levels the highest points are our resistance levels and it created a double bottom here so a double bottom is like this it's a w because the price comes down it creates a bottom tries to go up a little bit and then it comes down further or at the same level as this one it creates another bottom here now we have double bottom or head and shoulder and then it tries to go up so whenever you see such a thing guys it's a very very important pattern that you need to pay attention to and this is exactly what happened the price came down created this bottom tried to go up tried to come down again another bottom and then and then it actually kind of showed up so this is very very important so we know that we have another support level right here and i'm going to talk to you uh, talk to you about uh the liquidity and liquidity grab and why retail traders uh get stopped out most of the times and why uh, banks and institutions are always planning to do that so passing this as you can see there's a bullish engulfing candle and you know that the trend of the market wants to change because the buyers are getting stronger but we still have these support levels here it doesn't matter because the pattern changed so that's exactly what it is guys and if you want to take a look at this example you'll see that you have this bullish engulfing candle at the bottom of the uh, chart and then it tries to go up by creating higher highs and higher lows you see that guys i'm going to show you how to use rsi if you want to uh, it's very very easy if you want to use any indicator you just literally go to indicators here and then you just uh, search for your ind indicator if you want to use you know volume or rsi you just you know search rsi and then you click relative strength index you press on it and then it pops up right here so i'm going to open it this is what my rsi looks like i changed the color as i said if you want to change to whatever color that you want you go to the settings and then you have so many options here that you can just play with i'm comfortable with this color here and i can literally see the oversold and overbought prices so so what rsi does is that I know that I'm combining like you know indicators with price action but it's totally fine guys because I just want to show you many examples at the same time so you can fully understand everything so you now you know what bullish engulfing candle is what bullish engulfing pattern is and if you want to combine it with uh, RSI to, uh, to see that it's actually uh, a good trade then you can take a look at these levels here so RSI is between 30 to 70 so when the price when this chart reaches 70 it means that it's actually overbought here and when it hits the bottom 
I don't, I don't know whether we have an example right here. Uh, yeah, it's actually over sold, right? Because it's actually keep coming down. And when it hits the bottom, which is 30, it's oversold. Right now, uh, like at this price, it's overbought. And you can literally compare them with the current price here. So let's say that I want to show you an example in this case, which is overbought. And this is exactly where it is. See, guys? I'm using my RSI and also I noticed that we have this hammer candle here. Look at this beautiful candle that formed right here. So now we know that the price opened here, tries to go up, they got pushed down by the sellers and closed right here. So we know that the sellers are stronger in this game right now. And it's also overbought two confirmations so now you have a really a strong chance to uh, kind of identify the trend of the market and where it wants to go towards so because even if you zoom out let me just bring this one down a little bit you see that the trend is kind of towards downside as I said you can use the trend line and then you can connect all these lines together you see that the trend is towards downside you can also identify it with naked eyes and then you can take your sell trade here put your stop loss above this and then probably your TP here, you take your one to one, you get out of the market and that's how it works because you know that it's that it doesn't have more room to go above that and you know that it's overbought right here plus you have more confirmations to show you that you can sell the market and as you can see it dropped significantly and the same thing as this one see right now the price hit the 30% level which is this one here let me just show you here which is exactly right here so it shows you that the price is oversold again you look for more confirmation that how can I actually know that it's oversold look at this double bottom it's the same as this one bottom here bottom here and it's going towards upside you have the opposite double, double bottom or head and shoulder which is this one right here head and shoulder it's very very easy to identify uh, them guys with with naked eyes you don't really have to do that but if you want to use this rsi tool you can also do that there's also another thing that you can use is um, the volume profile is another useful tool that you can use the volume and you can uh, like you know change the color if you want to you go to settings and then you change this one to green this one to black and it changes like this and the volume is a good thing too so let me get back to my original example, guys, that we have the price overbought right here. So this is exactly where it hit at 70, the, the, the 70 level. And then at the same time, look at this. Let me just delete everything here because it's not useful. Look at this, guys. This is a black candle. This is a bearish candle. And it's actually the highest amongst all these candlesticks uh, beside it because it shows that the sellers are really a strong at this moment. And since it's a black candlestick, it means that it's a bearish, it's a bearish candlestick. The green ones are the bullish ones. So you know that right here, the sellers are getting a stronger and stronger and RSI is showing you that the price is overbought. And then it's another confirmation that you can sell the market. So this is a volume profile that shows you the volume in the market uh, that whether you know buyers are stronger or sellers are stronger. So another example for that is this one. Let me show you. Look at this, guys. If you see that this is the highest bullish candle amongst all of them. And if you go up, you see that the buyers are having the most power right here in this zone. So if you want to take a buy position, then you can actually uh take a trade based on that based on the uh, volume profile which is very very important so these are the tools that you can use guys so that's about it guys uh let's get into the next one morning star candlestick pattern is kind of it's not like the bullish healthy candle but it's showing you that since we have this doji candle which is indecisive candle and after that there's a bullish healthy candle again the trend of the market is going towards upside so it's a very very good confirmation i already talked about this uh candlestick pattern that what it does and why it opens here why it closes here so you know exactly uh how it's performing 
and this is really obvious we have two, like you know multiple bullish or bearish candles back to back and they are full body there's no weak so it means that they're super super strong and buyers are in power so that's like that's the basic of candlestick patterns guys there's there isn't really a lot about uh candlestick patterns and each one of them because there's only a few of them and then most of the times they get combined with each other so that's another example that i showed you earlier guys about the inverted hammer candlestick pattern that when the price opens here it tries to go up the sellers push the price towards downside and it closes here so again it doesn't mean that the price is trying to go towards downside because it's a bullish candle it's not a bearish candle you got to take a look at the color of the candle and then uh, the levels that you are taking a trade at all this stuff and then you uh, take you make your decision based on that so the rest of the things it's not really important to show you because there's so many like you know there's so much confusion when it comes to learning forex but i'm trying to simplify everything as much as possible so you only learn uh like the most fundamental parts and after that you need to practice guys you need to practice you need to back this you need to see how they work you need to use trading view the replay mode go back to see yourself uh, make uh, like make mistakes see where you made a mistake and then after that make your decision based on that so if you want to remove the indicators guys you know you can just close it here and then you can like you know remove the uh, volume here if you want to if you're using them just leave them there if you want to take a trade open them again and see if there's any confluence with your strategy with your analysis and then take it back again so the next thing which is uh, the last thing that I want to show you is support and resistance levels so right now I'm on gold five minute time frame so it doesn't really matter you know what time frame you're at it's just the different levels for support and resistance levels but i want to show you the levels at five minute time frame so as you can see guys when you zoom out if you want to identify uh support and resistance resistance levels you need to zoom out you need to zoom out you need to have a clear picture of the trend you need to identify the trend and you need to find the highest points and the lowest points of each screen of each like you know chart so when you zoom out like this you don't have to zoom out like this you don't have to do that you just zoom out like this as much as you can have uh, as, as much as far as you can actually see all the points and then you can you know just uh, identify your support and resistance levels based on that so if you want to identify support and resistance level guys it's very very important to identify the highest and the lowest points so i have actually i've seen this lowest point right here I've seen a high point here, I've seen a high point here, I've seen a high point here, a low point here, a low point, low point again, another one here, another one here. So when you identify these levels, it it's become, you know, it becomes really easy to draw your support and resistance levels. Out. So I'm going to remove everything and use my uh, horizontal ray and then whatever point that I found, I just draw a line underneath or above that. So I know that I have this support level here. I know that I have this resistance level here. So I have this resistance level. I have this support level here. Again, I have another resistance level here. I have another resistance level here. And I have a support level right here, which gets broken at this area. And then I have this one right here there's so many of them that you can identify forever on any time frame but you don't necessarily have to go too far when you're scalping even if you're swing trading you don't necessarily have to go too far but it's just a practice for finding uh, support and resistance levels not taking a trade based on that i'm not showing you that uh, i'm just showing you how we can find these levels so i'm going to delete this one because they're too far i'm going to stick with this chart right here from here all the way to here so you know that you have the support level here because it's the lowest point and then that's what i want to talk about this is the most exciting part that most retail traders make a mistake around so guys when you have a support level or a resistance level it means so much liquidity is created so what does liquidity mean liquidity means money liquidity means where retail traders put their stop loss around so when i have this support level here it means that there are so many buyers who 
take their buy position here or here doesn't matter around this support level here and where do they put their stop loss of course below the support level it doesn't matter where they put their tp it, it could be here or here or they just hold it forever what matters is that where they put their stop loss at and when they do that it means that there is so much liquidity has been created below this zone now banks and institutions target these places a lot of uh, retail traders make this mistake that you know it's not always wrong to buy at support and sell as resistance but most of the times when the liquidity is not grabbed you are part of the liquidity and you will get stopped out as soon as possible when we don't know you probably get lucky right here if you take your buy position here you probably won't take it all the way uh, you probably won't hold it all the way to here you get out of the market here you make a good profit you're happy and you do it one more time so at the next time you get stopped out because you're part of the liquidity the same example as resistance level we have a resistance level here guys look at this we have a resistance level here there's a bunch of liquidity sitting above this level why because sellers are in a the market they take the sell trade here they put their stop loss above this level and then uh, they're part of the liquidity another support the resistance level that formed right here and what does what happens is that when the liquidity happens when we have such a thing that we have so much liquidity around the price has to come back to grab the liquidity and then change the trend of the market or just keeps going down so it means that there's a high chance that right now gold tries to uh, reach this level to uh, stop out the buyers and then it goes back up or just keeps going down there are two scenarios here it's not like nothing more than that there are two scenarios here and most of the times when a liquidity grab happens that i want to show you like you know uh, some examples about the liquidity grab it just changed the direction of the market because the market has enough money right now the banks and institutions have enough money right now to change the direction of the market they don't go anywhere without your money that's the trick about forex guys and as you can see we have a resistance level here is a huge resistance level it means that there's a bunch of liquidity sitting around here so many stop losses so many stop losses so much money millions of dollars are sitting uh around this level and then another one right here i don't know why it's messed up but we have a liquidity here we have a liquidity here and we used to have a liquidity here that's the interesting part guys that's the interesting one that's a really good example that i can show you so when you zoom out right now you know that you have a support level here because it's the lowest one right i told you to zoom out to find the lowest parts the lowest points and the highest points and then you know identify your support and resistance levels based on that so now you know that you have a support level here with a bunch of liquidity uh below this level but i have a question for you are you part of the liquidity right now or not absolutely yes why because the price hasn't come back to grab the liquidity and then goes according to the trend or just change the direction of the market but if you move forward you'll see the first candle that actually grabs the liquidity see it takes time it takes some time sometimes it's super fast sometimes it takes a day or two sometimes a few weeks but if you're a scalper and you're trading on a five minute time frame it really happens so fast look at this guys look what happens right now this candle literally came down grabbed the liquidity because it kind of broke the resistance the support level but it didn't break it it's just a shadow but if it uh if the body closed below this level it means that the trend is changing because now we can say that it broke the support level but right now it's just a week it grabbed the liquidity and then after that as you can see what happens there's no liquidity here because everybody got stopped out we have this one right here so let's see see now it broke below this level and change the direction of the market now we're going to know how far it's going up or going down look at this guys so it did it twice it came down it broke below this support level here it created a double bottom or a head and shoulder and then it changed the direction of the market why because there is no liquidity left 
it grabbed this liquidity first and then it got grabbed by this one so now it's removed and then after that it created this one and it got removed again by this one here so it grabbed the liquidity twice and then after that it changed the direction of the market by uh giving us a head and shoulder pattern here which is a w or it could be an m to sell the market so that's how it happens guys all the time and it keeps creating support and resistance levels support and resistance levels liquidity grab and that's how the market performs so i want to show you uh, an example about another liquidity grab so let's say that the price is sitting at here you have a resistance level here because it's an obvious in a resistance level if you zoom out this is one of the highest points that you have this is the highest point let not the highest necessarily highest point the high point this is another high point another high point low point low point but this one is already grabbed because as you can see it's broken it broke below this support level here and we have a bunch of liquidity sitting above this level so can you see that guys there's a bunch of liquidity sitting above this level and now the sellers who took their sell position here and put their stop loss here they're part of the liquidity they're retail traders now there's a high chance that the price reached this level liquidate all the sellers and then change the direction of the market so see what happens it's very very interesting guys look at this look at this candle guys there, we had our resistance level here with a bunch of liquidity sitting and this candle with its weak came out of this sub resistance level liquidated everybody and now the trend of the market is changing see guys now there's a bunch of money sitting here not anymore and after that the trend changed see the sellers now can come into the game this is where banks and institutions play they want to grab the money first and then they change the direction of the market but it can also trade based on supply and demand zone that i'm not going to cover on uh this video guys i just wanted to show you the basic principles of candlestick patterns support and resistance levels how to create an account uh, at uh, on trading view and the tools that you can use the indicators all this stuff so it's easy to just identify your support and resistance levels and trade based on that but you got to pay attention to the liquidity grab as well i'm not using the rectangle to identify my support and resistance levels i just use this line here because i know that i have so much liquidity sitting here and i want to make sure that uh it's not grabbed look at this this one is grabbed now it's this turn look at this this one is grabbed as well so now two uh, liquidity has been grabbed but if you want to take the sell trade around this area then you can literally take the sell trade see guys and now we have a bunch of liquidity at this support level here it's very very easy to identify that and then trade according to the trend and based on the liquidity grab look at this so it's super super easy first you need to identify the trend and then after that you identify support and resistance levels and then you can go for that so if you want to another trick that i want to show you uh before i end the video is how to identify the trend based on higher highs and higher lows guys so let me just remove this one and show you an example here so guys one simple trick that you can use to identify the trend accept this trend line that you can just literally draw a line and you know oh it's just, uh, it's a downtrend market is super super easy is using higher highs and higher lows or lower lows and lower highs so if the trend is like this then you know that the trend of the market is towards downside why because you have these lower lows the lower high lower low lower high and as it as it's going down it breaks this support level here it breaks another support level here it breaks this support level here exactly the same as the pattern that is going on with gold look at this lower lows lower lows here lower highs lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs lower lows and what was happening breaking support levels and you know that the trend of the market is towards the downside and it's very very important right now see it's consolidating and we have a head and shoulder here but we can see that our support level has been broken so now it's probably the trend of the market is going towards downside further 
plus we have a bunch of liquidity sitting around this area because it's not grabbed yet i hope that everything makes sense for you guys i highly recommend you to watch this video over and over again to finally understand the liquidity grab and support and resistance levels so you can have a way better uh strategy when it comes to trading scalping swing trading whatever strategy that you have so vice versa you have this one for an uptrend when the price is going up see like this we have higher highs and higher lows higher highs higher lows this is higher highs this is higher lows higher highs higher lows like that now what are we breaking resistance levels see as it's going up further we are breaking resistance levels we're breaking a resistance level here we're breaking a resistance level here and it just keeps going up so that's what matters guys and uh if i want to show you an example for uh for an uptrend market so gold is not a good example for that but let me see if i can yeah let's go for something else let's go for euro usd or something and show you an uptrend something like this look at this it's just going up coming down going up coming down going up coming down going up coming down look at this guys it's higher highs and higher lows and it actually breaks small resistance levels as it's going up and vice versa for downside it just uh, you know breaks support levels here so that's it guys uh, i think i tapped into like all the basic fundamentals of forex trading but if you have any question you can always uh, reach out to us and ask your question guys it's very very easy you just need to learn the fundamentals the basics of trading forex candlestick patterns go back test them yourself because nothing is more important than back testing testing failing and then coming back again to test a different one yeah, but it's all the same you don't have to change 100 strategies you just need to know the basics support and resistance levels where the liquidity is formed where banks are going institutions are going and the retail traders are taking a trade so you don't have to do that because you're part of the liquidity and everything is mentioned inside this video guys so thank you so much for watching this video and i i hope that you know you crush the market and you actually become a successful trader. Have a good day.